course, remember we see this this area here on the board is where all the heat's concentrated. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to get some of this uh, heat sink compound they took out of an old plasma set. So this stuff here is really kind of neat stuff. It's cold to the touch. So I'm thinking if I get a chunk of this stuff and put it underneath the board between the IC and see what it actually it actually does it actually has a piece on it. That's interesting. I didn't even notice that when I had it apart. But if we look down here, there is heat transfer material already there. But obviously it's not doing a good enough job because this board is still getting really hot. Well here's the stuff that they had on there. It's just it's like three layers, four layers of thin actually it's more than that. It's a bunch of layers of the thin the thin heat sink transfer. Uh, stuff put together. Uh, this stuff doesn't, I mean it's warm, but I think I can do better. I think I can do much better than that. I'm going to put a bigger piece on here. I want to cover both the uh, the drive IC. I'm just going to unplug this connector here so I can fold this down. I want to cover both the drive IC and the, uh, the diode. So I want to cut a piece that's big enough to fit in this entire square here and cover this whole area. Got a good build up here of heat sink uh, material. Now we'll mount the board back in place and secure it down. silly design if you ask me. You, know, you would think that they would put proper heat sinks on those components but uh, this is the way they do it. It's all about how can we make this thing as cheap as absolutely possible. You might wonder why I'm going to this trouble of putting extra cooling on the drive IC here. And that's because this, this set is going to be going into a 24 hour operation here. I'm going to use it as an advertising sign to run my promo on. So uh, the reason I'm using this is because this set has an RGB connector on the back here, which is something that new sets don't have. And my uh, kiosk display unit. It's a uh, digital signage media player. It only has RGB output. So I need to run it into a computer type monitor, which this is. And the new sets all have just HDMI and sure I could use something else as a media player. I could use a Raspberry Pi or anything that's got an HDMI output and just set it on auto repeat. But I've already got this media player it works great and it has RGB so might as well take advantage of it right so that's why I'm going to use this monitor rather than scrap it I know a few of you have said why don't you just EOL it but this thing still got uh, some life left in it for my needs so I'm not too concerned about the uh, problem with the screen because again it's just going to be used here for advertising anyway um, I just figured I'd show you the inside of this thing again I didn't see the black when I had it apart, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't notice the black heat sink. They already had this little bit of heat sink uh, compound on the IC. I've replaced it with a much bigger piece, which will certainly dissipate the heat a little better than this little tiny bit here did. And it also covers the uh, rectifier as well. So hopefully that will uh, keep this thing a little cooler and uh, prevent this board from getting any more scorched than it is. So the back just goes on. Just like that. Not much to these units. A couple of screws hold it on. It's the 
say it's a very uh, very basic cheap uh, TV there we go it's on the PC input no signal of course because well obviously there's no signal plugged in but there we go back in operation we'll catch you in the next video